So Asbury Park is a hot spot throughout the summer, but today it's the biggest hot spot. It's not even 90 degrees, but it's hot because Evelyn Champagne King is here live performing right in front of the Paramount Theater. She's next to us. How Hi, are you? Hey, how are you? So I had such a great time today. So this is an amazing event. When I got off that little bus in Asbury Park, I saw about 10 thousand people in front of the Paramount Theater. I think that's more than the Paramount actually holds on a given day. Yes. Evelyn, what was that like to get up there on that stage for Asbury Park, Jersey Pride, and to see that many people wow. out for you? It was actually very surprising because it was so hot. I could not believe they would actually stand out there. I didn't see very many umbrellas underneath them, <laughs> you know, themselves, but it was it was very enlightening, very enjoying, and I want to say thank you so much for coming out. It is your day. It's Pride Day, so I want, I want to thank you guys for inviting me, and I'm the first major act that I was told that ever came here to Asbury Park to do your show for you. And I was honored. It was fun. Now, Asbury Park has an ever-evolving community, such strong history here. Why did you say yes to this event, Evelyn? Well, I'm a, a I'm a believer in you know God's children, and we are all God's children. At the same time, I've always been respectful to them because they have always supported my career. My career has always been supported by the gay community, and here I am to support them back and saying thank you. That's my way of doing that. Can you give me the last time you were here, maybe in Jersey oh or Asbury goodness. Park? Oh, please. Well, in Asbury Park, it's been probably since 78 or 79. It's been that long. It's been that long. But to actually come back to Jersey itself, is it's been forever. I need to come back a little more often. I got family here. I miss them very much. In New York and Philadelphia and New Jersey, it's like I need to come back more. This is my home. What was Pride like in Asbury Park in 2009? What were the, the callings for this community? Well, I think the callings were for them to just come together and just say, you know, we're just here to be proud. Open up a little more to each other and to each other's hearts and just... You know, have a good time. Share the music of dance, and that's it. Speaking of sharing the music, sharing the music with your husband, I heard there's yes. a new track. Everyone obviously knows the track, Shame. You've danced to it everywhere. Weddings, parties, yeah. dentist office, no matter where you are, <laughs> you've heard the song Shame. But there is some new music out. Evelyn, tell us about it. Yes, I have a new CD. It's called Open Book. And I did the dance tonight, which is on that CD. And the dance was written by my husband, Freddie Fox, uh, Tony Haynes, and myself, Evelyn Champagne King. Um, <laughs> but we had four cuts on there that we wrote together, me and my husband, Freddie Fox. But we just love bringing our music, you know, to the people to just let them know that we're not just singing for ourselves. We're giving them stories that, like, love songs and just, you know, to groove to. And I'm even learning the young lingo out there. So you'll, I hope you like the CD call. Before. Let's share that love right now. Freddie Fox, come on. I heard you back there. Freddie, come on out. Come on out. We thought it was about Evelyn Champagne King. Now you're very part. Freddie Fox. Uh, There's my new track. How are you bringing Evelyn forward? What, what's the question again? The new track. How are you bringing Thanks. Evelyn forward? Well, Past shame. We all know shame, but how? The what's the new track about? The dance. Well, the dance is just about dance, you know, just having a good time. And uh, it's, the music's got house music. It's got that, that boom, you know, that we're, everyone likes. So uh, that's the song. Yeah, you should tell him. He was, playing, he was playing it in the room, though. Oh, he was well. And I, I was wondering, okay, who's that for? He said, I'm writing this for you. So, and then we got the lyricists together, which is uh, Tony Haynes mm -hmm. and myself, the melody writer. And we all just got together and with Freddie's taste of his groove and the, the funkiness of it. We just had to get together and go. The, the dance. dance. <laughs> Speaking of the dance, now shame is such an anthem. Where do you feel the best representation of that era was? Because there was the movie Studio 54. There's so many interpretations oh, of wow. the disco era. Wow. Having lived it, what do you feel was the most honest version of what you experienced? Evelyn Champagne King. What was the most honest? <laughs> Uh, Studio 54. <laughs> the movie, the movie. The, the movie. It was real. <laughs> it was very real. I can vouch for that. I I, I mean, I played there uh, probably twice, but I played the Limelight, all the other places, the Palladium, the Garage, all the places there with Shane being out at that in that era. It was I was a young girl, you have to keep in mind. And I've seen Young girl? Things. You're still very young, young and pretty I, right now. I, I'm trying. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to say I'll be 49 this year, July the 1st, and I'm very proud of that. It's always good. Be proud when you look this good. <laughs> Say how old you are and don't be ashamed. I'm very proud of that. And I thank you so much for your love and support. But I, like I said, the era of the music back then, it still lives on in my heart today, and I'm going to keep it going for you guys. So thank you so much. I know a lot of people appreciate that because I think eight to 10,000 people showed up. Yes. Let's take the background right now. How did you meet Evelyn? How did you guys hook up? Uh oh, this oh. is how you That's meet her. That's a long story. On one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's a long story. We'll Come make on, it it's a all about short. love, isn't it? Yeah. We'll, we'll, How'd we'll you short, meet Evelyn? Man. Well, I met her at a, a club called Bon Appetit in Westwood, in California. 
And I was, now I'm blushing. <laughs> I can't believe he wants to know that. And I was performing there, and uh, she was in front of me, and I didn't know who she was. And uh, you want me to finish it, honey? Uh, he had yeah. no clue. <laughs> no clue. He didn't really care, actually. No, he really didn't, because they were all. This he was in a smooth jazz group. They were all in, uh, doing a. They was playing for actually Don Cornelius', Don Cornelius yeah. party. It was a party for Don Cornelius, and I was in there already with a guy, a young man. I, he was already rubbing on my arm and you know trying to talk to me that night. I ain't. We're just friends. But I was busy looking at this man on stage because he was very shy. He just did not look up at all. He had on MC Hammer pants, guys. <laughs> sorry. Very thin guy. It's okay. But the MC Hammer, if you've seen him in him, it just didn't fit. Because he was they were just, he was so skinny. So skinny. He had MC Hammer had MC Hammer pants. And a Jerry curl. Now you know what a Jerry curl curl looked like back then. That is like uh-uh. Okay, he had the Jerry curl, but I just kept staring because something about his heart. I, I can't tell you what, what it was. I just fell in love. It was love at first sight. I had to get his attention. Couldn't get his attention. So I had on this mini with a long maxi coat. And all I had to do was stand up, move it. I caught him looking. I looked up. We looked at each other and I got it. That was it. There it is. <laughs> Obviously a love story. But now why, guys, is it so important for you guys to step out and support lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender couples to, to just asking for equality? Well, I'm personally, I, I have my own beliefs. We don't always get into things like that to just, I'm going to be honest and say I don't really sit up and like to talk too much about because everyone has their own beliefs. Sure. Mine is, I'm a people person. I was raised to just respect everyone that respects me back. And whatever you do on your time, in your bedroom, in your spare time, is your business. I cannot really get into the whole, you know, the whole community thing of how they're versus this versus that. I just speaking from Evelyn that, you know, I care about you as people. And you've always respected and cared about me as people. And not just because of who I am, but I've always been respected that way growing up. So I'm just going to be who I am and let you be who you are. And we can live together. We're fine. Another reason to just come out and enjoy a weekend on the That's beach. That's why we enjoy each But other. before we go, are you going to enjoy Asbury Park? Or we're on a bus right now. Well, are you guys on the bus no, out of here? No, we, the, the we leave early tomorrow. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to probably try and stroll a little bit and have a little bit of fun. But I, I gotta, might have to be in disguise or else I won't be able to walk around but, because they'll, they'll attack me, you know. Some of them, they're very cool, but some of them can be very, you know, very touchy-grabby. But I would, I would like to just chill out and just probably, you know, catch the sunset or something. With a story that rich, I yeah. understand why they want to catch up and find yeah. out, like, what's going on with Evelyn Champagne King? 8,000, maybe 10,000 people approach the short well, to celebrate your songs, your thank anthems, you. your writings, all right here in Asbury Park. I'm Ryan Wolowski. Till next time. Peace. See ya.